So these are the items that I got from the farmer's market and I want to say they were some things that were charged per pound like the tomatoes and the onions but the other things like the potatoes they were like I think two for a dollar or something like that. So I love prices like that because I'm like mm, I'm gonna get you know four potatoes you know um, a couple of anyways I got the basics. We got some tomatoes and my husband is from the south and what he loves and so was my granny and my mom and what he loves to do is to have a tomato sandwich let me know in the comments if you eat tomato sandwiches i did not grow up eating that i like tomato with like some turkey bacon and some lettuce and some salt and pepper um but a tomato sandwich is a thing and it is very very popular in the south and so is a banana sandwich but i got these and i think i'm gonna make my husband a tomato sandwich with these Shh, don't tell him so these are the beautiful tomatoes that we got and you can tell they're ripe and they're just ready to go i'm super excited about these i don't even know how much this one costs but this giant vidalia onion i was not gonna leave it because my granny would cook so many things with Vidalia onions and they had the best, like your eyes didn't water when you cut them open and they were just delicious and sweet and tasted good and everything. So I had to get one of those. I got some cucumbers and as you can see, these cucumbers, they, um, flaws and all, I'm so excited about these. When I go to the grocery store, unless I'm buying an organic cucumber, most of the time I am cutting that skin off because they are covered with a wax that is actually a petrochemical. So it's a derivative of petroleum. And I don't wanna eat <laughs> petro-based chemicals in my food because that really, really upsets the microbiome. And if you know anything about that, we have a lot of bacteria in our guts that do a lot of great things for us, including keeping bad pathogens out and bad bacteria bacteria out and these are I don't have to worry about that I don't have to worry about skinning or peeling these I'm going to give these a good scrub and then we are going to I usually just like to eat these with salt and pepper and a little bit of apple cider vinegar and these are perfect I don't even like make a huge salad I'll just eat these by themselves or I like to top it with a little bit of tuna on top is another way that I like to eat these but I cannot wait to get into these do not laugh at me, but my mom has a garden and I actually had to ask her about these beans. I make black eyed peas. My husband's from the South. He loves them. My grandmother ate them and they're, they're delicious, right? But I've never bought them fresh. I've always bought them dried and they have like a greenish tint to them. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Let me get it to focus. But they have a greenish tint to them and i had to ask my mother if that was normal and she said actually that is the way that they look and you really just have to wait for them to dry out to turn beige but of course i'm not going to do that but this is my first time having fresh black eyed peas let me know in the comments if you have ever had fresh black eyed peas i'm super excited about this so that was from the farmer's market and then i picked up some red skin potatoes and these are perfect for just about anything. So if you're doing a roast, if you are making some mashed potatoes, um, if you are making some chicken and just having some roasted potatoes, I got these and I cannot wait to scrub these. And I mean, all of those nutrients, I'm so excited about that. Sweet potatoes, I got these. And as you can see, the food that we get from a farmer's market is not going to look like the things that are like in pristine condition that you're gonna get at your local grocery store, but that's a good thing. That means that they grew naturally, they were not genetically modified um, from this particular guy that I talked to. I'm not sure if that's the case for everyone, but I am super excited knowing that these are fresh, that I can eat the skin, that I don't have to worry about any kind of weird or crazy pesticides that were used on these because I was able to talk to him about what he used on his produce. So those are our sweet potatoes. My son kept going back to the table and picking up these little yellow squash for whatever reason. And I'm pretty sure I've given these to him. I've given him squash before and he did not like it. <laughs> but for whatever reason, he was really excited about it. So hopefully he will eat it. But the gentleman was really, really sweet. And he was like, why don't you just let him have one? And I was like, well, that's not really on my list of things to get. And he said, well, no, I'm giving it to you. And then he said, just let him have one. So I let him go back and pick one. And then he said, oh, but he only has one. Let him get two so your husband can try it too. So this gentleman just gave us these cute little squash for free and then last up I got some plums and you can see those and let's get it to focus again I got these beautiful plums 
And that is what I got at the farmer's market. Stay tuned, I'm going to show you all the things that I got from Aldi that you'll probably be able to pick up um, in your local Aldi that were organic, a great price, and I have, I mean, they have been on point the last couple of weeks. I've also shared other things from Aldi and you can check that, I'll put that in the description and I'll put one of the cards up here so you can check out my other Aldi hauls, but stay tuned for that. So next up, I'm sharing everything that I got from Aldi. So bananas, these are perfect for, I make a banana oat pumpkin muffin pretty much every week for my family. They eat that for breakfast or as a snack. And I love getting the organic bananas for that. I'll usually get them overripe so I can use those in that recipe or any other recipe. And my husband also uses these for shakes. So these are perfect. I think they were 60 cent a pound, something like that. They were really, really economical. And then the zucchini was $1.89 in my area. So I got two packs of the zucchini. I am going to make a, rec a recipe that I'm going to share um, in a later video with the zucchini. And I also like to use it in a stir fry. Next up, mango, the best fruit on the planet. <laughs> so I got two of the regular mangoes and then I've got four, they were about 79 cents each. And then I got four of these smaller mangoes and these are called honey mangoes but the actual name is atolfu atelflo <laughs> i can't say it <laughs> but these are the mangoes that i got and these are so so good they're a lot more tart than the regular mangoes but these are a favorite in our house and aldi has had these for the last couple of weeks since they are in season for 49 cents each so i typically get four every time that i go i probably should get more than that these are great to just sit and leave out and allow to ripen or or you can put them in a brown paper bag with an apple and that will also help them to ripen quickly also but they are so stinking good some garlic because I put garlic in everything. This isn't organic, but this is a must have. These blueberries have been so, so good. Um, they typically have blackberries too, but they didn't have them this time in raspberries. But I just got a pack of the blueberries. I usually get two or three, but since I got all this other fruit, I didn't need to get that much. I love putting this on um, another recipe that I am going to, um, another breakfast recipe that I'm going to be sharing soon is I mean, blueberries are a must for that. This is also great to have in a yogurt parfait or to put in a shake. We just, or sometimes we'll just, after I clean them, my area and they are so, so good. And last but not least, strawberries. These are organic at Aldi for $2.79 a pack. So this is such a great, great deal. This is the brand. And they have been, I just took them out of the fridge too but they have been absolutely delicious. So whenever we're buying fruit that's in season, especially if it's local, if you can't get the local, do the best that you can. Uh, that's what I always say, work with what you have, you know, do the best that you can with what you have. And whenever I go to a store like Aldi, there's another store that's similar to it in our area called Lidl. Those stores are typically the places that I go for produce. Um, I also get produce at Costco and mostly I get them from Aldi. Um, there's a store called, store called Publix also. But whenever you're getting organic produce, you know that you don't have to worry as much about the pesticides and you don't have to worry about a lot of the petrochemicals that are used in a lot of the other conventionally grown produce. Obviously, if you're eating fruit and vegetables, you're doing great um, eating whole foods. If you want to go a step further, um, organic is a really, really great way to go. And when you have a place like Aldi, you're able to do that a lot easier and a lot cheaper. So that is my haul for this week of just produce. And again, if you have a farmer's market in your area, be sure to check that out because you are literally putting money back into your region, back into your area, back into the pockets of your neighbors, and you're supporting your local farmer's market, which is something that's going to keep it going. And I always say that we vote with our dollars, with what we want, what we pay for, that's what's gonna get produced more, right? Supply and demand. So I just wanna encourage you to eat locally, support your um, neighborhood farmer's market, market if you have one um, and then you also have options um, in your area to go to Aldi if you don't have any of those things I shared a video of um, a produce 
company called Misfits Market that will do just that and they'll bring the food to your doorstep and it's organic that's been grown in the US. So I hope that was helpful. Until next time, your life matters, what you do with it matters. So what will you steward well?